Okay, so our local government officials have forced our hands and um, we finally put a gate up. Um, we don't want people showing unannounced. Stay tuned. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on. If you guys watched the last film, let me talk a little bit about what's going on over the last few days since I've seen you guys last and what I've been hearing about how I've made the people who assess the property really upset with us and what are they going to do about it. I've been hearing things that they're going to do something about it. We'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, so look what we got here. We got an old 12 footer, 12 foot gate. And um, we have been forced to take action on our own property, putting a gate up. So it's true, we have been needing a gate up for a long time, but with our local government officials showing up unannounced, it's time that we put, go ahead and just put the gate up. Now this is actually going to be a temporary gate, which could be here a couple years, a year, who knows? Cause we eventually want to put a big metal nice gate up the driveway a little bit but right now this is going to serve the purpose i hope um surely um the locals won't come through the gate i wouldn't think um we got several security cameras out um so that's what i'm going to be working on in this video is getting the gate installed um today i went and rented this uh, i don't know what is it a toro it's called a toro it actually will drill the big holes for me and um i had a little hand auger but it's seized up, so I went and rented this. And it's expensive, so I need to get the use out of it. Uh, so that's what we're going to be working on in this video is getting the gate up. I'll show you guys all that. And we're also going to be talking about later on in the video is are the, local, um, are the locals out to get me now? Are they out to get us? Are they going to retaliate because of my video? Um, that I talked about them showing up unannounced. And um, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. You guys stay tuned because I've heard some things through the grapevine, through hearsay, um, through friends of friends of friends, whatever you want to say. I've heard some things, some rumors. Don't know if it's true or not. We don't know, hope it's not. And because if it is, it's not good for either party. Okay, so I'm going to unload this. I'm going to be using eight foot. These are actually eight foot long by five inches, right at five inches. And I just bought these. So I already had two from when we did the pig pen uh, a couple years ago. And uh, these look, mine look bigger than these ones. And these ones were a lot cheaper. So let's measure these and see how much bigger they are. These two I already had. Yep, it's a whole, look at that, that's six inches. That's a whole inch bigger. So what's crazy about this, this came from the same store, same pile that um, you would say, not the same pile, but the, the same stuff. Um, now, instead of calling it six inch by eight foot, it's five slash six inches for like double the price what I paid these. I, uh, the two I just bought was like $17.99 a piece. And if I remember correctly, these ones that I got on the ground right here were like $8.99, so like half the price. But that was like a year and a half ago or so, two years ago or so. Um, but so they shrunk it and they increased the price. So it tells you anything, what's going on in this economy is not good. They're gonna double the price and shrink the size. Okay, so let me get this unloaded. We'll get this situated where we wanna put the post and go from there hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do please subscribe to the channel um, we really appreciate you guys sticking around seeing what else we got going on and um, if you guys like it like the video too if you will smash that like button um, so yeah stay tuned we're gonna talk about are the locals gonna retaliate against us boom all right let's get upset All right, so I got it unloaded, hooked up. Um, I found where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put it not right on the road, but enough where you can pull a truck and trailer in here without being 
in the road itself. So check this out. If there was ever a doubt, people have been asking me, well, did you have any no trespassing signs up or anything that said stay out? The very first thing that you see or you should see when you pull into our driveway, look at this. You pull into our driveway, come up about 30 feet and right there on the sign, you drive right past it. It says no trespassing. And that has been there pretty much since day one. We had a beware of dog sign, but it came down. That's literally the first thing you'll see. We did have a, a wire running across here um, for like when we're gone and stuff, but I don't really like using it. It's kind of pain in the butt. So it's wrong when the place, the gate is right in here. And we'll place it where you shouldn't be able to drive around it. Now, if someone really wanted in here, they're gonna get in here. I wouldn't think that the um, assessor would go through the fit go through the gate unlock the gate i wouldn't think so um I, we'll, we'll see i don't think they would do that surely i think the points got across now is i know you got a job to do and i know you need to come in and do it but just let me know when you're coming that's all i ask let me know when you're coming so we got this set up ready to go we're going to drill the first one right over here so let's get set up and do this Okay, so I got these spaced out five foot. They're, that one's 30 inches, that one's 26 inches. So we're right there about two and a half foot or so. That's, that's really good, uh, especially for being so rocky out here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this first one set and then I'm gonna work off it to do the other two over here, then come back and set all of them. So yeah, it's not, it's not too bad when you got the machine. I can dig the holes quick for you and easy. What I'm gonna do now is save me about 80 bucks and take this back to the rental place before it closes because they said if I get it back before it closes, they only charge me like 
two thirds or half or whatever it was. So let's go save 80 bucks, take this back real quick and then come back and set the rest up. Okay, so I got the machine back. I saved $75, they said, um, cause I only used it for less than four hours. It would have been 250 bucks ended up being like one, uh, 175, so that's good. And we got Hopi with me and we got Hadley with me. So Hope's gonna hold it, Hadley's gonna film for us. We're gonna get these set and then tomorrow I'm gonna hang the gate. I'm right, gonna put some of this in here, Hadley. Don't breathe this in. Just right. It's like, I don't like the camera. <laughs> so cute. Look, look. All right, girls, thanks for help. See ya. <laughs> Don't run the cat over, huh? How about run Oreo over? My gosh. Hadley. How about ran, ran Oreo over? Let it get the cat out of the way. That was almost a disaster. All right, so I got all these set. I'm going to go get some water, water these down a little bit. There's so much water in this um, ground right here. It's a lot of clay, holds moisture really well. I probably don't even need to put water in it, but I'm going to put a little bit, and um, then I'm going to tap it down and um, let it sit overnight, and tomorrow afternoon, set the 12-foot um, fence, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I've been here all day working on the gate. I finally got it hung. I'm going to be showing you guys that in just a minute, um, but what you guys probably came here for is an update. If you guys caught the last video um, when I showed the county assessor or someone who works for him, show up and um, start going through the property. And if you caught this, that last one, and maybe some things weren't real clear, the, the thing was, they already came back in February of this year and said, we, we actually met them coming up. Um, we're, they were leaving, we we're coming in. And uh, she said, hey, is the house done? No, not yet. Okay, see you next year. All right, see you next year. And that's a pretty common practice is they come assess it at the beginning of the year. And then whatever you got going on, that's what you get taxed for for the year. And I guess maybe during construction time, they may pop in and check to see the progress of the house. I'm not real sure. Um, but when she told us, we'll see you next year, we meant, we literally thought that meant next year. So what really upset me was the fact that they came three weeks before the, uh, the new year to try to bump my tax up to see what we're done, um, see what we have got done on the, on the house. I don't know if they watch our channel and see updates or not, I have no clue. Um, but besides that, um, for them just to come back right at the end of the year, really just was like, really? Like, it's almost one of them things, they're out to get us. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case or not, or they would just, on, or if it was just on the schedule for two times. And like I said earlier, or like I said in the last video, they may have came out middle of the summer too. We don't know because we have not had a gate up. I don't check my cameras often unless we see something out of place or something like that. Um, so I have, that would be a lot of footage to go check. Uh, so I probably won't be doing that. Um, but maybe, but maybe they only came out the second time, but that's where we're at now. That's what got me upset was the fact that they came again and they just showed up unannounced like always. And, um, I guess I need to, I should have made it more clear. I didn't want to, I didn't want to like address the situation right then because I wasn't real happy. And you guys know, whenever emotions get involved, um, you might say things or whatever that you regret later or that you don't mean or whatever. Um, so I've always found it, found it for myself. Just let cool down, um, relax for a little bit, a few days. And that's why I didn't even make the video 
until like a week later because I just wanted to relax a little bit because it was really, it really had me going that they showed up again like that. And the whole unannounced stuff, it just, it just really goes through me. I cannot stand that. And um, you guys know that if you've been following the channel very long, you guys know we can't stand trespassers. And um, as far as I'm concerned, they're trespassing. The very first thing you see when you come into our property is no trespassing, regardless if you're the county assessor, if you're the the phone company, the electric company, whoever, it doesn't matter. Um, you, you still need to contact the owner of the property before you ever enter that property. Um, call us, leave a note on a tree that you guys know we're gonna come in out of the drought, something. Uh, figure something out. You guys got our address. You got our phone number. I'm sure they can get it. Not that hard. Um, that's that's the whole thing that I, I was really upset about was the fact that they just keep coming unannounced and I do not like that. So what we have done today is put um, a gate up and hopefully that takes care of the problem of anyone coming in. Obviously, they can walk in on foot still. Our whole property is not fenced off, but it'll maybe keep them from driving through the property. And um, I hope I hope this takes care of the situation that they just know just contact us and um, we can work something out where you got to come assess and um, go from there type of deal. So here's the deal. We, uh, we have some mutual acquaintances, you might say. And from what I've heard is that he's not real happy with me. You know what? I'm not real happy with them either. Uh, so it kind of goes both ways. But from some of the things I have heard that they may be trying to dig into some stuff and ask a lot of questions to people and, just trying to find out more information, but I don't know. Um, it's kind of silly to me that someone would get, they would get so upset over one video that I posted that I don't want you coming unannounced. And there's a lot of politics that go on behind the scenes. I mean, did I really say something that bad just to really infuriate someone? I don't know. So if that was upsetting to them, things I said in that video, I didn't say anything bad. Um, it doesn't really make sense to me that they would try to be coming after us somehow, you know, what that even means, um, how, how they'd even go about doing that. Um, we do everything that we're supposed to legal wise. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We pay our taxes. And some of you guys, some of you guys misunderstood what I said whenever I said, whenever you hear people say, I want to pay, pay my fair share of taxes. And I, and I, I don't, that, that's the big difference between I don't want to pay taxes and I do pay taxes and I don't pay taxes. Those are three different, very different things. We pay our taxes. I do not know anyone who wants to pay taxes, including myself but we do pay our taxes so that's a that's a whole different that's that's i don't understand where you guys came up some of y'all came up with the idea so don't pay taxes we pay a lot of taxes and that's the thing is there's a big difference between not wanting to pay taxes and paying your taxes so um yeah so when people say i, I want to pay my fair share there's a lot of state there's there's states and you not texas is one of them that they don't have a state um they don't have a state tax and um that's a good thing i think and um, they have found out a way not to uh, have state taxes as far as like um, sales tax and things like that. I don't know all about it. You guys live in Texas. Leave me some comments down below. How's it work in your area? Like I said in the last video, you never truly own anything. Um, even though you work really hard um, to say, get out of debt, pay your land off, build a house debt free, all that stuff. You work really hard, but then they come and tax every improvement that you do on your property. Um, say, our, say our tax goes up. We don't owe, owe anything on the property of the house. And now, and I'll say our taxes go up to $3,000 a year or say it goes up to $3,600 a year to make easy math. That's $300 a month that you're paying to be able to stay on this property. Even though you already paid the property off, like that just is, is crazy to me. And I, I just don't, there's nothing we can do about it. I don't, that's just nuts that you will never, and I, this isn't nothing new. Obviously I've known this, but it's just bringing, coming to light, um, the situation that we got in the last week and, um, kind of just rub me wrong and, and you start thinking about it it's like oh my gosh uh but yeah you never own anything truly own anything especially your property and your home you if you don't pay your taxes they're gonna come get it it's crazy stay tuned in the future and we'll probably keep you guys updated when we get our next tax bill and um, we'll have to go down to see exactly everything that they're taxing us on i do know the sawmill they get they put a lot of pictures on the internet and i know the sawmill is on there in the camper and i don't know if we're getting taxed for that um the sawmills on wheels the campers on wheels campers not even at this property anymore it's a different property um so i don't know we need to really we need to go down there and just talk to the actual county assessor themselves and figure out exactly what they're allowed to 
to um, assess what exactly are they allowed to tax because every state is completely different and you can tell just by reading the comments down in the comment section every state you guys are from i'm hearing so much different things from each state it's crazy like everyone everyone's different so that's where that's where that comes into play i guess we just need to figure out exactly what's going on and um because maybe uh maybe we are getting taxed for things that we shouldn't be hey maybe they think they're able to and that's why they're doing it. i don't know you would think they would know exactly what they are able to tax you would think that and i'm sure they do i don't know but we need to do um, some more homework on this we'll probably just need to go down to the assessor's office and uh, talk to them and get a list of everything that we're getting taxed on and what is literally what can they tax us on that's my whole thing because you hear one thing but then you get taxed for it too you know what i mean so it's just kind of like up in the air no one really knows <laughs> uh, no one really knows around here you always hear um you talk to a neighbor or a friend like yeah you can't do that but then they do so what's what can they really do there's a lot of answers there's a lot of questions i want answered and uh but yeah so i don't know we'll see we'll see if they try to retaliate against us or not i, I don't know how they would um if he's mad or if they're mad it is what it is we're mad too and uh, we don't like it either just i think i got my point across just don't show up unannounced let yourself uh, let us know when you need to come. That's the main thing. Don't show up unannounced. But I got to cut these posts off. Let me, show, let me show you the gate. So I need to cut these posts off real quick. I'll show you guys cutting those off. And then I made a mistake. <laughs> you guys can see this. Um, I called, I texted my father-in-law and we're going to try to come up with something better than this. I put the post about 10 inches too far over. I don't know how I did that, but I did. And um, I had to come up with this makeshift thing. Um, it doesn't look the best, but it's going to, it's functional for right now. See, I'll show you guys that in a minute. Let me cut these off real quick. Yeah. Okay, uh, Brandy then actually showed up as I'm talking to you guys and cutting this, getting, doing the finishing touches for now. And um, it's actually turned out really well, minus the part that I missed it by about 10 inches. So we'll get that, um, we'll get a better, system, a better setup than that. But that's gonna work for now. Okay, so I think that's all I got for you guys today's video. Leave me some comments down below. Give me your opinion on what's going on. Um, in your county and uh, your state and all that. And uh, what do you think about if they do try to do something to us? I don't know what they could do. Just that wouldn't be right, would it? This wouldn't be right. Surely not. Surely they wouldn't do something stupid, right? I don't know. We'll see. All right, stay tuned. Catch you guys on the next video.